Namaste. Welcome back to Live Stronger. I hope your recovery is on track and you're feeling better and a bit stronger. Uh, don't worry. If you are feeling a little bit sore still, it will slowly reside and you'll be back to normal in no time. The uh, soreness will keep coming and going as we keep working our muscles and eventually you get habituated to it and everything will be fine. Trust me, I have been through it multiple number of times and the only thing which is going to help you is good amount of sleep and good nutrition. That's your, uh, those are your best friends. If you get those in, uh, in place, your recovery would be fine. On day 5, we are going to work on our arms. So in arms, we are going to work on both our biceps, triceps and forearms. I usually tend to overtrain my biceps in enthusiasm. Also my triceps when I keep them only for one, one day at a time for each muscle. So I decided this time I'm going to give it a mixed approach, but still make sure I give it all, my, all of my energy to it. Uh, we're going to keep it short yet extremely kind of intense. I don't want to scare you off, but we are going to work hard. We are going to work hard as we usually do to build strength and we are going to make sure our muscle growth is at its best. Then let's begin. We'll start with our dynamic stretch, the greatest stretch, and then we'll do some warm up, couple of warm ups, and then we'll move on to our exercises. So let's begin. As always, for our dynamic stretches, we are going to do the first stretch as we are, have been doing since last few days, the greatest stretch. We would continue doing this all the time because I feel this is one of those stretches which ensures each and every uh, major muscles of our body are stretched before a workout and make sure our, uh, and also make sure that doing it consistently increases the mobility in a lot of cases during our compound lifts. So let's begin. We'll do four reps on each side. You remember how we do it. Try to reach out, then turn. Take a couple of seconds, switch, reach out all the way back on the side and turn. I just switch the position a little bit. This time I'm going to push my leg a little bit out, try to reach out and turn. Same on the other side. Push the leg out, reach out, and turn. As I mentioned in my previous videos, there is no reason for you to follow me exactly. Please do take a break in between if you want to pause for a couple of seconds, reposition yourself and do the stretch properly. The only reason I'm going a little bit quick is because I am a bit experienced. I have been doing this stretch for quite some time. I just wanted to sit down in a deep squat once. Uh, you can join me. Just, I've been sitting at my work a little bit longer today, so just want to go deep, let my hips mobile. And that's it. We are done with our stretching. Now we'll do a couple of warm-up exercises and then we'll move on to our actual exercises. So for our first warm-up, we are going to do kind of a variation of skull crushers with just a couple of dumbbells. This is to warm up our elbow joint, our triceps. Now with triceps, there are multiple ways to warm it up. But I prefer this way because uh, one of the exercises which I'm going to do at high intensity is in this uh, method, wherein I'm lying down and I'm doing the exercise for my triceps. So I like to warm up uh, in this particular range of motion, it gives me more confidence when I'm doing the actual exercise. It's very simple. Take a couple of light dumbbells. You don't have to go extremely heavy. I have grabbed 2.5s. I raise them above 
my head with palms facing down okay palms facing down right i raise them above i take my hands below my uh, just out of my eyesight so they are above my head and then slowly bring them down and then take them up back again just a second yep let's continue one two three four you might be wondering why am i pushing my hands so far out where i can do it like a similar skull crusher kind of a thing where my arms are just here that's because your triceps are uh, connected to your lats so when you put your arms almost behind yourself the triceps are most lengthened in this angle so there's a great amount of tension which you can build by just putting your arms behind and at this angle when you're trying to extend your tricep or extend your elbows get your arms straight there's a lot more stress cost and there's a lot more work your tricep has to do and even at the topmost point there's still stress on your tricep so i'm just trying to get the warm push blood and get my joint ready for the exercise so i think i completed maybe 20 repetitions so that's one now we are going to warm up our biceps so for biceps it's kind of very personalized and individual choice you are free to choose what you want to do the warm up with we are going to do simple curls now if you are absolutely new to this i recommend you grab couple of 2.5 again or even 1 kilos because we are just going to train the range of motion if you are someone who has been going for quite some time and are confident of your strength with your biceps go for an empty uh, barbell a small barbell or an easy bar like i did they are comfortable on your wrist because they are in the same angle as your wrist you don't have to keep your wrist straight and hold them comfortably now for the exercise it is a little bit more uh, intense warm up than what we did for our triceps so we'll start with first partial range of movement uh like triceps our biceps are also connected connected like triceps are connected to the lats our biceps are connected to our shoulders so raising our shoulders a little bit forward like raising our arm a little bit forward gives us a little bit more contraction and lengthening keeping them absolutely down kind of uh, you know when your arm is completely down there is no stress on your bicep but if it's a little bit forward the stress remains even when your arm goes straight so i like to keep my arms a little bit forward now the first few reps we are going to go partial reps uh once we are exhausted we are going to do full reps once we are then exhausted we are going to do drag curls i'll keep uh doing it and explaining it so you can follow along so first to start with partial reps i take a good grip and i begin there is no counting of repetitions i'm just trying to get as much blood as possible so it might take 20 to 25 reps for me it might take only 5 to 10 reps for you to start feeling extremely tired doing this partial reps i'll continue doing till i feel really exhausted that i can't move my biceps anymore one thing i notice as i'm doing it i feel a bit of soreness on my chest that's because my chest is trying to also stabilize my body from moving ex a uh, friend uh, by uh, instead of for to prevent me rocking forward and backward so i feel them i feel the soreness if you do it's absolutely fine i just don't want you to bend extremely back when doing this just stand straight and continue doing the curls so it's important you choose a weight which you can absolutely control if i have to stand in front so you see the range of movement i'm not going completely down i'm not coming completely up just partial and i'm feeling the burn 
now I'm just going to keep it straight. Just a couple of seconds, let the blood flow because we asked a lot of blood to accumulate in our biceps to execute that. Now we'll continue with full range of motion. My arms are completely straight. I bring it completely up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The burn is coming. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Now I'm going to move to the drag curls. With drag curls, you just have to drag the bar against your body. If you're holding a couple of dumbbells, you just drag them beside your body. After this, I'll show how to do drag curls with the dumbbells because I think other two you could uh, do it because it's pretty simple. The more range of motion is same. For drag curls, I just bend a little bit forward to create more exaggeration in the curl and just drag it across my body. You can also do it standing straight. And that's it. Ah, my biceps feel like they have already gone through a workout. If yours do too, we are just finished with our warm up. Uh, in my opinion, uh, biceps also do recover very quickly. Uh, they feel, they get sore quickly, they recover very quickly. Uh, so we can really push hard. With triceps, I take a little bit of time to make sure the stress, at, uh, the stress is at the right point because uh, most of our tricep exercises demand a lot of shoulder stability and sometimes the shift of tension can lead to uneven uh, weight distribution on our triceps. Instead of triceps, our shoulders are working, our forearms are working. So I take it a little bit slow with our triceps, but I do try to go heavy. With biceps, I try to go higher reps. I initially uh, used to do a lot of heavier reps with my biceps and it has given me really good growth. But I, as I mentioned before, I tend to overtrain them, uh, which causes a lot of pain and then my recovery goes for even three to four days. And I'm not comfortable doing that this time because I want to be working out continuously every day. So we are done with our warm-ups. Now we are going to start with our exercises. Before we start with our exercises, uh, all the exercises which I do uh, would be today in a superset model wherein we'll be doing bicep, tricep, then we take a break. We do bicep, tricep, one set, then we take a break. So it is going to be a little bit exhausting. The breaks in between, you can take a little bit longer. There is no issue. You can take up to two to three minutes because we are trying to work two muscles at a time. If you are uh, not able to do the exercises with the barbell, which I'll, be using to, uh, which I'll be using to do the exercises, you are more than welcome to do it with a dumbbell. If you're absolutely new, you can stick to the same weight. I assure you, the amount of working on your muscle would be really the same. Uh, you can definitely progress going forward, lifting more weights, switching to the barbell. But if you're unable to lift a barbell, absolutely fine. Take dumbbells, the range of motion would be same. Uh, it's basically the exercise which I've just done. Uh, we'll be lying down on the bench and doing price of extensions. And while standing, we'll be doing barbell curls. So let's begin with our exercises. So for our first exercise, as I mentioned, we are going to do a superset. We are going to do barbell curls first and then immediately move on to our tricep extensions. Behind our, I don't call them skull crushers because it is definitely not a skull crusher. Our arms are way behind, so it's lying down tricep extensions, I like to call them. Uh, if you don't have a setup like this, if you don't have a bench and if you don't have a barbell, you're going to do it with dumbbells. It's still the same. You do the curls with the dumbbells, you lay down on a floor and you continue doing the extensions. On the, uh, with the dumbbells on the floor. If you feel stronger with your biceps, 
a bit weaker on your triceps, you can shift the weight down. Uh, if you and it could be flipped other way. If your triceps are stronger than your biceps, you can start with a lower weight on your biceps and go heavier on your triceps. So let's begin. Uh, the order of the exercise is at your choice, but I'm going to begin with the biceps. And it's simple. The aim is still again 12 reps. So let's go. One, this time full repetitions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you see how fast I was going, I was doing it pretty at a pretty good speed. I was not doing it too fast, not doing it too slow. Uh, there is no reason at this point of time for us to slow down the repetition, at least not in the first week. And I immediately switched to doing a laying down tricep extension. I like to hold the bar a little bit closer with my arms. You can do it at your comfort level. Elbows facing forward, bar goes behind my head, and there is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Slowly bring it onto your chest. Get it down, catch your breath, and then slowly roll it forward towards your hip, and you can get up. So that's a safe way to get up. Now that we are done with one superset, we are going to do it three more times. Weight, it's always like before. If you're comfortable, increase the weight. If it is good enough, stay there. If it's too heavy, try to finish the number of repetitions and then switch the weight down for the next set. So we'll take a minute or two, and then we'll go for the second set. So I hope you're ready for the second set. If you're feeling tired and want to take some drink some water, go ahead, drink. There's no problem, just a couple of sips. And grab it. I just grabbed it a little bit on the side. I need to twist it. I increase the weight just by one kilo. Any increase of weight is a good progression. So I'll start with my repetitions for my biceps. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That was challenging. So I lift, take the barbell with me, go for the lying down tricep extensions. You can call it skull crushers. I'm just adamant about it not being a skull crusher. <sighs> Take your arms behind your eye level and let your arms go down and push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Bring them onto your chest. Slowly lower it down. Push it towards your hips. And you can get up and demount it. For the next set, I'll be doing it with the dumbbells. With dumbbells, it's a bit challenging when you're doing triceps because you need to ensure stability. 
but I'm going to try my level best to show you how it is done with dumbbells because it's unfair for people who don't have a barbell that I don't do it with the dumbbells. So for the third set, I'm going to do it with the dumbbells. Weight, I'm just going to try to keep it challenging. So let's take a break. So for my third set, I'm going to use dumbbells. So if you're someone who don't have a barbell at your disposal, it's pretty easy. If you just stand straight with dumbbells beside your thighs, and then you start doing your reps. It's one, two, three. With dumbbells, the benefit is you can have more extension of your bicep. Your bicep lengthens completely. With barbells, it just stops above your thigh. So with dumbbells, you get a little bit more extension. If you see, at nowhere, I go back to lift the weight. I stand straight and I do my reps. If you're going back, if you're leaning back, that means you have taken a weight too much, which is too much for you. And it's not advisable to cheat on your form to lift more weight. I'm going to put the 7.5s back, grab fives for my skull crushers. With dumbbells, it's even challenging for me to control the uh, control my arm movement. So I take a bit of lower weight than what I do with my triceps. I just need to. I forgot to demount with the rod down so I get space. So I lay down, bring the dumbbells on my chest. Take them up as we did in the warm up. Take it behind and start doing our reps. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, that was good felt good and we are done with our set number three so we will take a short break and go back to our barbell for set number four so it's time for our set number four if your arms are really tired and you're feeling a lot of pain uh, I'm sure it's absolutely with muscles uh, something to do with muscle soreness you can take a break after three sets we can move on to the next bit of exercises. You can fast forward the video or just go to the next timestamp. But if you're with me, which I want you to be, let's keep pushing for the fourth set. I haven't increased the weight. The weight is same. Like my second set, I'll grab the barbell, take a good grip and go for my curls. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, that was good. I'm just going to switch the camera a little bit behind so you can do see me properly while I do my extensions. I'm not cheating. I'm going to go to the set immediately. No breaks. It's a super set. And we go. Position your, the rod just above your head. Lean it a little bit back where you're comfortable and start doing the reps. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12. Bring it onto your chest, slowly lower it down, move it towards your hips, and get up. And we are done with our first exercise. Technically, we covered two exercises. We superset both the exercises. So my hands are all pumped up. Take a break, up to three minutes, and then we'll start with our second superset exercises, wherein we'll do a tricep bicep combination again. For our next exercise or superset, uh, we are going to do tricep push downs with cable attachment and hammer curls. I'll show my variation or how I do the hammer curls. It's actually not my variation, it's just one of the variations, but I like that variation much more than the normal hammer curls. So you can follow along. For tricep uh, rope push down, cable push down, the cues are very simple. You stand straight, you don't have to bend down, you don't have to do anything extraordinary. Just put a weight which you know you can comfortably push down. Just try once. If you're able to do it, rack that weight. We can increase, decrease the weight later on in our second and third set as we feel. Grab the lowest part of the cable and take it completely down initially. Just take it down, de shrug your shoulders, push your shoulders down, and let it come up just halfway. That's it, nothing more. You don't have to let it go all the way up. Uh, there's not much of use there, just let it come halfway. Now, at halfway, you push it down again. And that's it. Simple, easy. For the first set, you just do that about that much. If you're already experienced and know how to do it, continue with me. If you're new, take it slow. Let's begin. The exercise can also be done on a cable machine. I'm just doing on the lat pull down machine, which is available to me with the cable, with the cable attachment. So let's go. Take it down parallel and just push it down. No shoulder push, no chest push, just the triceps trying to extend. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The first weight itself was extremely challenging for me. So I'm going to keep the same weight. And for the superset, I already kept a couple of dumbbells ready for me to do it. So usually, we do the hammer curls by keeping our palms facing sideways. How I like to do is do the hammer curls or a variation of it by keeping my palms facing down and letting the dumbbell come across my body. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if you can see, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Simple. If you were for any reason unable to follow that motion, you can do the basic hammer curls, which just straight up down with your palms facing sideways. But if you could follow me, it's very simple. Just palms facing down and move the number across your body. That's it. So we are done with set one. Take a short break and we will begin our set number two. So we'll go for a second set. For second set, I just push the camera a little back, a little behind for you to see the motion I do with my wrist. So when I go down completely, my arm remains here and I do a small squeeze with my wrist to get a little bit more activation of my tricep. Nothing really difficult. You can try it without a weight. Take your arms completely down, 
feel your tricep contract and just a small turn of your wrist behind, you'll feel the tricep getting a little bit more activated. While doing this, you want your shoulder completely shrugged, de-shrugged. You don't want your shoulders shrugging up and trying to push it hard. You want to keep your traps relaxed, arms down and just push. That's it. Okay. Let's go. Let's begin. Easy set. Take it down. Keep your shoulders down. And then let's push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I just hit failure near 12. Immediately switch to the dumbbells, to the curls. Again, palms facing down. I'll just come a little bit forward so you can see me better. And move across your body. Simple. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. My forearms are absolutely fired up. And if yours are too, yes, the hammer curls or this variation of the hammer curls is more focused on the forearms to get your side biceps coming out. So if your forearms are pumping and full of blood, it's absolutely fine. We are doing the exercise right. We'll take a short break and move on to our third set. Let's go. With our third set, ah, my triceps are really tired, <laughs> but let's keep going, let's keep pushing. Let's get stronger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, push, push, 12. Ah. Just almost did a 13th rep, but it's fine. Take the dumbbells and start away with your hammer curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and my hands are absolutely pumped. That was a great three sets of supersets. And we are actually done with our arm day, almost. Uh, you may ask, why is it so short? Initially, I would want to keep it a little bit shorter because throughout the week, our arms are working. No matter which exercise you're doing, our arms are at constant work, they are working. While we build strength on our arms, which is very important, we also may need to make sure there is enough time of recovery and we get a hang of uh, recovering well. So today's workout should take you a day or two for your arms to completely recover. That gives us enough time to get back to our shoulder, chest, back, 
uh, exercises again, wherein our arms have to do a lot of work. Chest and shoulders is all about pushing, so our triceps are working. Back is all about lifting weights, so pulling the weights. Our biceps are constantly working. We are also training our forearms during, uh, even during leg movements, if you are lifting a weight up, putting it down constantly, our arms are working. So I don't want them to be uh, overtrained in the first week. If you're someone who's looking for, who's, who's quite habituated to going to the gym, I hope today's workout was quite effective. Uh, instead of doing long uh, workouts of bicep, tricep, or even both of them together, we just did two exercises, very quick successions at a high intensity. And for first week, I'm, I'm satisfied. We are going to do one more exercise and we would be done for the day. So let's take a short break and go to the next exercise. For our, so for our last exercise, we are going to train a bit of our forearms. Uh, you can do this exercise on a cable machine too. Since I don't have one, I'm going to use the lat, uh, lat machine, which is at my, lat pull down machine, which is at my disposal. I attached a single hand hook to the machine, uh, put the least amount of weight possible because I don't need to go really heavy. So what I do is simply grab it and pull it a little bit lower, just a little bit bent on my elbow. If you see how I'm holding the, uh, basically the hook, just about with my fingers. Now to work my forearms, I'm just going to roll my fingers in trying to get my pinky finger all the way in and touch here. It is anatomically not possible, at least for me, but that creates a lot of tension and stress on my inner forearm. So we are working our inner forearm. I like this exercise because it puts no stress on my wrist joint, no stress on my elbow joint, but still works my forearm quite effectively. It's very simple. You start feeling a cramping pain most instantly after a few reps, which I'm feeling right now. This I'll push through for a couple more reps and then instantly switch your hand. So you can see my hand in reverse. I'm working my inner forearm. See how I grip with almost just my fingers and then I roll my fingers in and also my wrist. Trying to touch my pinky finger onto my forearm. I hope you're with me with this exercise. It's simple, you'll figure it out because the moment you get into this motion, your forearms feel stressed. Just going to do a few reps. I did not keep a count. Yeah. So it's that simple. Just have to take it, hold it, pull it down a little bit. No stress, a little bit of activation on your bicep, but there's no stress on it, nothing. Simple, keep the lowest weight possible. You don't need to really go heavy. The motion is all about uh, keeping an open palm, almost holding the hook just with your fingers and then trying to roll your hand in. That's it, that's the motion. Nothing else, nothing extraordinary. So I'm going to take a break and do it again. So let's start with our second set. I move the camera a little bit in front so you can see in close how my arm moves. Uh, if my face looks quite uh, distorted in the angle, that's because I'm recording on a GoPro wide angle. So let your arms completely open. See how I'm holding it not using my thumbs, not required, not using my thumb, not required. And look at this muscle as I roll in. That's it. This muscle is doing all the job, the inner forearm. And then I roll out. If you keep really heavy weight, it will slip out of your hand. So just keep a weight which is enough. So you just do it. There's absolutely no stress on my wrist. All the effort is being done by my forearm, right here. 
If you feel like it's cramping, that means you're doing it well. And that's failure. And I switch my arm, see it from back, keeping a slight bend in my elbow, hook almost just at my fingers. And then I roll in and turn inwards to try to touch my pinky finger down on my forearm. That's as easy as it gets. The reason why I like this exercise is because like, unlike the forearm uh, machines which are usually available in most of the gym, which is basically a bench and you rue it, it's quite good. I have nothing against it. But for me, when I roll my wrist down, it kind of puts me in an awkward position and I feel a little bit pain on my joint. So I don't like that. So I just do it facing up. There's no weight on my wrist. It's absolutely fine. And my forearm is doing all the work. And also, since my forearm is completely free in the air, instead of sitting on a bench, I feel there's all, a lot more muscles which are contributing. They're not restricted in their movement. Right now, my forearm feels absolutely pumped up. That's because of all the hammer curls and the forearm exercises which I have just done. That's a wrap for the day. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had an effective and productive workout. I hope you keep working out along with me, kept working along with me. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to do our lower body again. We are going to do a different set of exercises, a bit of little bit of different focus. Uh, by the time, I really hope your arms completely recover. Thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow.